Former president of basketball operations for the Lakers told USA Today, if you look at man for man, the Clippers are probably better than the Lakers in terms of bench. But to Anthony Davis and LeBron James, to me, they're going to be the key, and they're going to have to dominate in that series. Then we're going to need that third score. Stephen A., would the Lakers be better off having magic in charge? I definitely think that's the case. And I mean no disrespect whatsoever to Rob Palenka. Uh, at the beginning of this season, we raved about the job that Rob Palenka had done in light of the fact that Magic Johnson had left at the last day of the regular season so abruptly last year. Uh, but the reality is, is that Anthony Davis was always coming to L.A. Uh, LeBron James was already there. Uh, that had a lot to do with Magic Johnson. Kyle Kuzma still being there. We know this. So the question is, the other the parts, supplementary parts that you need in order to win a championship. A uh, Darren Collinson coming out of retirement, a trade for Derrick Rose or Dennis Schrader, uh, you know, picking up a guy like Reggie Jackson uh, once he, you know, clears waivers and all of that stuff after departing and being bought out from the Detroit Pistons. The question that you must ask yourself is, would Magic Johnson have been able to pull off something like that? And my answer would be yes. I got serious questions as to why Rob Palenka has not been able to do that. I don't want to hear that the Los Angeles Lakers are satisfied with what they've got. Uh, stop it. I mean, don't spit in my face and tell me it's raining. I don't believe that. We all know that when you look at the Los Angeles Clippers, Ka Kawhi going to the Clippers is one thing. For them to get Marcus Morris before the trading deadline expired and then to pick up Reggie Jackson, a backup point guard, who's been a starter, but he's going to be a backup in L.A. We all know that the Lakers, especially considering the two performances that they had against the Clippers this year and the amount of workload that's been placed on the shoulders of LeBron James at age 35 in his 17th season. We all know you needed another piece. They didn't get anything. I think if Magic Johnson was there, again, no disrespect to Rob, but I think he would have got one of those pieces. This is almost a difficult, um, not almost, it is, it's a difficult um, subject for me to talk about because my mind goes to Kobe Bryant. Mm -hmm. And because Kobe's not here to confirm or deny or defend himself or, or agree or whatever, right. I, I'm hesitant to talk too much about it. But I'll say that I, I always thought that there was a power behind Palinka. That's how he moved Magic Johnson out. Um, well, in fairness to you, you said it when, when, when Kobe, before Kobe passed Natch, away. Of course. You, you spoke course. about this months ago. Of yeah. course. And, and Kobe didn't like the fact that his, and I put his name in it at all. Correct. You know, I, I just wonder, and it's speculation, I just wonder, had that horrible tragedy never occurred, do the Lakers whiff on everyone and the Clippers win on everyone? I wonder. That, I always thought that Kobe was the power behind Palinka, and, and, and so, like, immediately Wait, my I'm mind— I'm following your take right now. Take your time. Magic bro. Johnson. Your time. I know you're was trying to be sen Magic sensitive. Magic Johnson yes. was entrenched in power. Who were the three Lakers icons that I felt actually were in a power struggle of sorts? Yep. Magic Johnson, now LeBron James, yep. and Kobe Bryant. Right. Okay. And as I noticed, LeBron James didn't get his head coach, mm -hmm. and Magic Johnson was moved out. I noticed whose guy was put in, and that was Kobe's. Mm -hmm. And I always harbored the belief that Kobe was eventually going to buy the Lakers. He was going to own the Lakers one day. At any rate, the kind of influence, partly, behind Palinka is no longer there. Um, Magic seems um, emboldened to discuss what he sees that are the problems with the Lakers right now. And the Lakers seem to whiff once again on everyone they're going after. Mm -hmm. And so um, my, my, my sense of it is that that maybe if Kobe were around, it would be a little different. And so it's difficult well, for me to talk about. Let me say, that, and I respect that. I understand that. And, and it's important to remind the audience that you did speak about it. It's not like you've spoken about it now that Kobe has passed away. You spoke about this in the past, and, and Kobe obviously disagreed with you or whatever, but you spoke about it when he was alive. Here's the, here's oh, the reality. I can't even hear that. Know you know that. what I mean? Exactly. It's unbelievable. It's I can't so, talk in the past tense. Exactly. I can't believe it. I, I, I hear you. I will say this to you. First of all, let's give Magic Johnson some fairness in this regard. Magic Johnson is L.A. Mm -hmm. There's no way that Magic Johnson could go in the world and they're not going to ask him about the Lakers and even the Clippers. There's no way. Anywhere he goes, he's going to be asked about that. That's number one. Number two, 
Let's give Shaquille O'Neal some credit because Shaquille O'Neal was a power broker in L.A. as well. A lot of people wanted to come to L.A. when Shaquille O'Neal was there. Shaquille O'Neal, the gentle giant, the big Aristotle, and, and, and all of this other stuff. The, the guys wanted to play with him. The, so I think it's important to throw his name into the mix. Number three, Kobe Bryant. Understand this about Rob Palenka. And everybody needs to know this about Rob Palenka. Kobe Bryant loved Rob Palenka. Right. Mm -hmm. And Kobe Bryant completely believes in Rob, and believed in Rob Palenka. He thinks he's a basketball savant. He thought he was a basketball savant. He raved about Rob Palenka. And I don't think it's a matter of, oh, my goodness, Kobe would have been running things behind the scenes. I no, think that Kobe I had that such, such faith in Palenka that he believes that what Palenka, whatever Palenka thought of, would be and beneficial Kobe led to the Lakers. And gravitas to right. the proceedings, basically, right. and makes it as right. more influential as a gravitational and, pull. And that's right. right. And all I'm saying, all I, here's what I'm saying about Palenka, just so we're all clear. I don't believe Palenka when he says, we're cool with what we have. We didn't want to go after anybody else. That's nonsense. That's nonsense. There's no way you can look at the Clippers and you can look at the Western Conference and you could see LeBron James and the load that he has to carry and think for one, especially the way that Cooper has played, that you go, you think you could just stand back. They needed a pick and roll point yes, guard. Yes, they do. There was one yes, available after the yes, deadline on a buyout and a team that did well. I mean, the Clippers could use him too. They, but a team not, that was not as desperate yeah. for it got him they, in the same building. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.